and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Simply Queen by Sherelle. That's me, the modern day seamstress. I hope that you will enjoy this sew along tutorial featuring Simplicity 8749. It is a Mimi G style, the classic pantsuit. Enjoy and keep watching. Thank you. I prefer to do my zipper fly pants with the fly already attached. I don't like to do it in two pieces. So um, that's the only change that I had to make that I, I opted to make for the pattern. So I did complete sew up a muslin um, out of this some fabric that I had laying around. I think I may have had this fabric when I was lining mask um, months back. Um, but it's a nice piece of fabric. So um, I cut the pattern a size 18. The only thing that I did different when I cut out the pant pattern was I increased it by two inches and that's almost a given for all pants because I have long legs. But other than that, when I tried the muslin on, I was so, so pleasantly surprised because they fit to a T. So I did not have to make any other adjustments. I didn't have to make any adjustments to the darts or to the um, crotch area, hip area, Everything was fine. So I can move on with the um, cutting out my fashion fabric with the pattern as is minus the one change making the cutting the um, zipper fly directly on the pattern. So we need our front piece, our back piece, the zipper fly, however you want to cut it. We need um, the under flap, one of those. We need our front yoke and pocket two pieces of that and we need our pocket facing two pieces of that I'm making my pocket facing in a um, in a lining fabric the same lining fabric that I use to line the jacket and I have already put in my darts and transferred all of my markings on all of my pieces I am now going to go stitch in my darts press them then I'm going to surge everything and I'll meet you back here to start putting the pants together. Our darts sewn in and pressed in on all of the pieces. Front pieces, back pieces. We're going to put the back, push the back pieces aside for now and we're going to be working on our front pieces. Everything has been surged. I have also prepared my waistband by folding it, it, interfacing it, folding it, pressing in the fold, and then I went ahead and pressed up the hem on one side of the waistband. So that'll be ready to go when I need it. And again, um, I try to prepare as many of my pieces on the front end so that um, when I get to the construction of the garment I can roll right through it. It saves a lot of time and, it does, and, and in my opinion it makes the sewing that much enjoyable. Okay, let me put that in place because as it's sitting it helps to the fold to stay in place. Okay. I'm just going to clip that and set it aside. I'll also folded over and pressed the under flap. I haven't finished off the edges yet. I'll set that to the side. Okay, back to our front pieces. Oh, and you do not have to surge the angle where your pocket facing is going to go because it's you're not going to see it. It's not going to be exposed. And if you don't have a flip your front pieces over so that the right side is facing you and the crotches are matching each other. Then you want to take your pocket lining piece and with right sides together you want to match up your darts and in case your darts have disappeared you can just go back and reference the pattern or you can just know that if again you have 
used care in cutting your pattern pieces, everything is going to line up. There's practically no ease in this part. And as you can see, everything lines up perfectly. side I see I forgot to serge this piece here so I am actually going to go and serge that really quick okay Okay, and now we are going to stitch here a quarter of an inch and then we're going to press our seam. We're going to press our seam toward the body of the pant. So we'll take care of that. Okay, so we've attached our pocket facings. I am going to stop at this point and now work on my zipper. All right, so now we need to flip and put right sides together and I'm just going to pin these out of the way for right now and you can do the zipper first and then your pocket pocket pieces but this is just the way the order in which I I always do this okay we're going to Pin right sides together. I'm going to pin it at my yoke. Okay. I'm sorry, at the fly zip. And then I need to line up the crotches, crotch pieces in there. Okay. Now, that one marking that you transferred from your pattern, this dot right here, we're going to stitch 5 eighths of an inch from here around here. And when we get here, we're going to stop and back stitch. Okay. Then from this point all the way up to the waistline, and you should have transferred the center front line here, mine is yellow, it's faint, I've got to put it back on. But from here to here, we are going to do a um, basting stitch. Baste stitch from here to the waistband, but from here to the dot, 5 eighths, back stitching at start and finish. Okay, after you um, put in your basting stitch and your 5 eighths of an inch stitch there, go ahead and clip at the bottom of that fly, zipper fly, so that when we go to open the pants out like this, it will sit a little bit flatter. Okay, so we have that open there, and that's where we put in the small slit. Take your zipper. Now, don't judge me. My zipper doesn't match. It is the only um, nine inch zipper that I have. So we're going to roll with it. Um, take the right side of the zipper and put the teeth in the center of where you have your basting stitch. Okay. And I do it so that my zipper pull is just above the um, is just above the uh, waistband, and I'm just going to pin it here, really quick, just so that I can check that everything is lined up nicely, centered. Okay, and then I am going to place a pin here so it doesn't move around on me. Okay, 
So now that's secured down. I have marked my flaps. This is the right and the left. Now I am going to pick up the left side along with the zipper, keeping that in the center, and I am going to pin it. Okay, then I'm going to go to my machine and I'm going to stitch through the fly and the zipper only. Do not sew through the back of your pants. So I'm actually going to pick this up like this and stitch my zipper down to the left flap only. Okay, we have stitched our zipper down to the left side. Um, <clears throat> and now we are going to stitch the zipper to the other side of our zipper flap. Now, if you was only um, working with the one zipper fly, you wouldn't be doing this step. What you would have been doing is you would actually be folding over um, into the seam allowance, folding it over like so, and then stitching it down. So um, we could actually do that now, but we're going to do it later. I like to do it this way first to keep everything um, even. So I'm going to go and I'm going to stitch the zipper down on this side of the zipper down only through the zipper tape and the other side of the flap, and I'll be right back. The other side of the zipper has been attached to the right side of the zipper flap. I have prepared the under flap by finishing off one edge, the flat edge, the straight edge, by turning my fabrics right sides together, putting in a quarter inch of a stitch, trimming it, flip it out, press it, and then I serge the rest of the under flap. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we are going to put a pin in where our basting stitches stopped. And remember, they're going to be at the dot. So I'm going to put a pin here through the back side to the right side so I'll know generally where my basting stitches start and stop. So I am going to now take those basting stitches out. gently because you don't want to tear your pants so just take your time and pluck the basting stitches out And if these pants are done correctly, the only person that's going to know that my zipper is a sky blue should be me. <laughs> we hope. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to stop there because that's where my pen tells me where the basting stitches end. I'll take my pen out. Pull out my loose threads. stubborn, doesn't want to come out. So I'll go in from the back side. Clip it out. Okay. Alright. So now we have, it looks like this. So I am going to Give this a press so that 
the left side of the zipper is actually should actually be overlapping and it does if you can see that does overlap okay so no one should be able to see that I have a sky blue zipper but before I give that press I'm actually going to edge stitch this the right side I'm going to edge stitch that down I'm going to get as close to the zipper teeth as possible okay so I'm going to go right here all right so I'll take that to the machine and do that now and show you what it looks like okay so this is what that stitch looks like just stitch really close to the zipper teeth after you do that lay everything out really flat my right is overlapping my left I may have transposed those um, in my earlier explanation but um, it really doesn't matter it just boils down to preference so my right overlaps the left okay and I just gave it a nice little press so that everything's nice and flat now we're gonna open it out flip it around to the back side keep everything nice and flat this is my overlapped side over here now we need our under flap and my under flap has been prepared I've surged it and I also finished off the top part now we're going to take this piece the finished edge is going to be the part that you would generally see when you unzip in your pants so we're going to take that part and we are going to pin it to the uh, side that is not overlapping and we're just going to line it up with the zipper okay we're going to put a few pins at the top and then one to secure it at the bottom for the moment And then we're going to flip it back around, keeping everything nice and flat. Okay, you can see it taking on its shape there. See the under flap peeking through there? And we want to take our pin, hold it, take that pin out, and pin it on the front so that you can see where you're going to be stitching. Same thing with the pin on the bottom. Keep everything nice and straight. Pin it in place. little thick okay and I'm going to use one more pin in the center now go to your machine and stitch using the same line that you used when you stitched very closely to the zipper teeth so just follow that stitch all the way down to stitch down the under flap Okay, we have stitched down our under flap. Go in and clip your threads so it doesn't get stuck in the zipper. the back side okay the last thing to do is we need to put in <clears throat> we need to put in our little tack at the bottom of our zipper which is going to go right here which is going to keep everything together flies zipper and flap so it doesn't shift around when you're wearing the pants 
So we're going to put a small tack here. Now, if you want, here is where you will also put in your zipper fly um, stitch. That's completed our zipper installation. Remove those pins on our pocket bags. Okay, everything has been pressed flat. I put in the zipper plaque stitch using a basting stitch so it's very wide and I put in my bar tack. The way I do the bar tack is I use a zigzag stitch and I change the stitch width to 0 0.05 and I um, put in about six, six stitches at 0.5 width. Okay. Um, and here is my functioning zipper with my sky blue zipper. <laughs> you can see the under flap, but because it is done properly, no one other than myself will know that I have a sky blue zipper. All right. So now we're going to move on and finish our pockets. Flip your pant around. Okay, flip this around, okay, and I'm actually going to open up the zipper like that, okay. Now, we need to take our pocket pieces and we're going to <coughs> put right sides together. So this is the right side. This is the right side, and we are going to line up our notches. And again, if you cut your pattern pieces out perfectly, then everything is going to line up. We're going to be stitching. We're going to stitch it close around here. Let's finish pinning. A little bit of ease on the curve. Okay. And then this section here. So this piece here we only want to stitch to there, okay, because eventually it will be stitched. It will become a part of the seam. So we're just going to stitch to here and then we're going to stop, okay. We're going to do that for both sides and then we are going to line this up with our waistband. After we stitch here, we're going to come back and we're going to line this all up with our waistband. I'm sorry, the top of our pants. We haven't put our waistband on yet. Okay. And this stitch from here over, we're going to just put in a basting stitch to hold it in place. And we're going to do that to both sides. Okay. okay, we have our pockets um, in place now, and we have based across the top to keep it in place. And here is the facing pocket. You see my top stitch, keeps it nice and flat. One thing to note, and you can do it now or later, is 
the ends of the pocket bags will need to be tacked down and you can just do that by hand after the fact so that it won't be flapping around. So just go back and put in a couple of hand stitches there to keep it all tacked down um, and do that on both sides. Just tack it down out of the zipper, out of the way of the zipper. You could have actually, um, and I will note this uh, for the next pair of pants that I make using this pattern, and that is I will make this a little bit shorter. So I'll make this about a half inch shorter um, so that I can make sure it's going to be out of the way. Okay. All right. Everything's nice and flat. And now we are ready to do our side seams. So with the right side of the pant facing up, we're going to go ahead and match up our side seams. Now this pattern um, has side slits at the ankle. You would want to go and note the pattern for that if you want side slits in your pants. I do not want side slip, slits in the side of my pants so I will be skipping that step. Alrighty, we're going to match right side left and right sides facing on the right and the left. All right. So just pin it. Pin your sides as you would any other pair of pants all the way down, catching the part of the pocket that we stitched separately. We're now going to join that together with the side seam for the back of the pants. Okay, line everything up. All right. All right, so just pin both sides, pin both sides, and then before, and then, um, we're going to pin the center legs and then we will close up the remaining of the crotch. I'm sorry, so it's going to be the butt, the, the butt, uh, the rear seam because our front has a fly zip. So the only portion that we will have to close up on the back side will be from the crotch to the waistband and we'll do that last. Okay, we have attached the back pieces to the front pieces at the sides. We pressed our seams open. We also attach the front to the back at the um, inside seams and we have pressed those seams open. Now we need to close up the back of the pants. So we're going to, oh my goodness, I did it again. I just realized that I did not serge this part of the pants. Oh. Our center back seam has been stitched and we've pressed the seam open. Now we are going to attach our waistband. We are done. So I have attached the waistband. Remember, I fold it in half and then I pressed up one end of it, um, the seam allowance, which ultimately became this pressed edge here. I, um, you can do the stitch in a ditch method, but I like to hand stitch, well I don't like to, but I prefer the outcome, um, uh, oh, uh, hand stitching the um, waistband closed over the stitch in a ditch method because I just always mess up the stitch in a ditch me method. So I hand stitch my waistband, pressed edge over close, finished off the edges for the flap um, the same way you would any other type of um, uh, pants, even with a side closure, no zipper. And then I just did the bar tat, uh, I'm sorry, the bar hook, the pant bar hook over the top. Um, for the front and we are done with the top half of our pants as you can see no one will know about my sky blue zipper I went ahead and finished the hem by serging my 
ends and then doing a blind stitch for my hem. So my pants are done and my jacket is done. And um, I hope that you have enjoyed this sew along slash highlight um, video. Please hit the subscribe button um, and so that you can come back or be notified when I am posting my next video. Okay, thank you and take care. center and I am going to pin it. Okay. Then I'm going to go to my machine and I'm going to stitch through the fly and the zipper only. Do not sew through the back of your pants. So I'm actually going to pick this up like this. and stitch my zipper down to the left flap only. Okay, we have stitched our zipper down to the left side. Um, <clears throat> and now we are going to stitch the zipper to the other side of our zipper flap. Now, if you was only um, working with the one zipper fly you wouldn't be doing this step what you would have been doing is you would actually be folding over um, into the seam allowance folding it over like so and then stitching it down so um, 
we could actually do that now but we're going to do it later i like to do it this way first to keep everything um, even so i'm going to go and i'm going to stitch the zipper down on this side of the zipper down only through the zipper tape and the other side of the flap and i'll be right back